Welcome back to Let's Replay Neverwinter Nights 2 Mask of the Betrayer. This is Big Los. We are right outside of Kovea Kurganis. So we're about to enter the Shadow Portal. And go into the Prime Material Plane where the city is actually housed. It actually doesn't exist in the Shadow Plane. Well, it kind of does, but not like it does here. Alright, let's have a chat with some of these guards. I'm so bored, I wish something would happen. Don't make any trouble. But if you do, tell us ahead of time so we can watch the blood spill. Eh, <laughs> you got it. Very much like the ruins in the spirit barrow. You don't say. Yeah, they kind of look the same. Kind of have the same hue. So now we have to go through a line of petitioners in order to see the slumbering cover. Come up too near. I smell you boys stink. Go away. This is Gawatha. Hello, good newcomer. You bring money, yes? Gawatha like money. It seeks a bribe. How refreshing. Most flirt with the subject of bribery. This one asked for it bluntly. I can almost respect that. I wouldn't bribe him, but perhaps we could buy something from him he detests, such as his servant. Which perhaps would be to everyone's mutual benefit. You replace Genasi? You want to trade Gawatha like them? What did you trade the Genasi? Their leader. He thirsty from weight. So I trade him bucket of Chekluput. Or Chelukput. Gave him a good deal too. Such waste. What do you mean it was a waste? Chelukput all gone. Chinasi litter. He drank some bucket. Then spilled most. Fell down and go, Ugh, my stomach. Chinasi must got wig bowel like tea, tree leaf. Chelukput went down through straight to butt. What is Chalukput? Mm, how to say Chalukput like juice of fermented rodent. Ogres love it much lots. Makes them not thirst. Puts hair on the nose. So what happened to the Genasi leader? I think he needs to make stinky nature. He yelled at him servants and them guards. Privy, privy. What they privy to, I not know. I tell him, make nature in corner of room. We not mind. Go with already start nature pile. It almost covered kebab dumb boy stink. Alright, I want to talk about something else. Yes, you want to trade Gawatha now? I can't understand what you are saying. Oh, sorry. Human talk is fourth language of Gawatha. Please don't offend. Why are you here to see the coven? See that boy? That dumb kebab. Him why we come. Go out to trade him for Marchmage. Who say he's special child, worth much. We bring dumb kebab to Coven. So know how he's special. And how Gawatha make profit. But line not moving since long time. Ah, kebab. Has a less than flattering translation. Let us say, dog that eats its own excrement. Is the most polite translation. I imagine this boy is treated a little better than his nickname. The child. Its blood has lost the sweetness of innocence. It would make a chalky meal. You like kebab? I trade I trade him you. If you make worth to Gawatha. I want 30,000 gold. Kebab is an insult in your tongue. You obviously don't like this boy. You know, Gawatha, dumb kebab so much bother that I may trade him for small profit. I discount you so you... you I discount you so you want him for 20,000 gold. Come now, make trade to me so Gawatha can leave. Let's try to appraise. You know that this boy is not worth nearly as much as you were asking. Failure. Gawatha already give good discount. 
any less, no profit. Less profit or look bad. Come now, make trade to me so Gawatha can leave. Why would I want to buy kebab? Archmage claimed this boy special. He make much profit. Take him to Coven and you see. Come now, make trade to me. Alright, so we can either fight him or pay him the money for the boy. Can we talk about something else? Do you know who's ahead of you in line? Strange apes, too many eyes. Them kept sneaking in, wanting kebab to snack. But they had nothing to make trade, so I'd guard locked door. Keep him out. Alright, I want to talk about kebab. You change your mind to kebab? You take him so I can leave. With discount, I want 20,000 gold. Alright, I guess we'll pay that much. I'll take the boy off your hands. Celebrate good trade, you not regret. Now Gawatha not need keep wait for Coven to tell how Kebab's special. Kebab, dumb boy, you go them now. Riddance. Thank again for trade and profit. Enjoy, you dumb special boy. Gawatha make gone now. Adios. So now we have this boy in our party. Doesn't say his name. Well, he's only level one with eight hit points. His attributes aren't that great. The only feat he has is quick to master for being a human. Well, we better make sure we don't get him killed. Alright. Huh, so much for that ogre mage. That makes you third in line now. I'll open this door for you. And we are confronted with some more Uthraki. And their leader, Vlushk. None of the others will talk to me. Are my senses blinded by hunger, or are you spirit eater? Vlushk, we hunger. Can we not feed on this one? Silence, or I will feed you to the others. Spirit bears the gift. The gift commands our respect. I apologize for that one. The hunger possessed him. I made this humble Uthraki serve, Spirit Eater. Tell me why you are here to see the coven. Ujuk sent us here. He hopes coven's wisdom will guide us to a new home, full of sentient game and free of those that wish our extinction. Do you know who is ahead of you in the line? Foul things that died rotted, then lived again and continue to rot. <laughs> they are definitely bad for eating. I need your place in line. I would like to give you what you ask, Spirit Eater, but we have been waiting so long. Perhaps if you had something that could sustain us for a longer wait. I see that you brought with you the luscious manchild that once belonged to the ogres. Might we have it? My fellow Uthraki and I are so hungry from the unexpected long wait to see the coven. Well, we could give him the meat that we got from Groof. That would be the neutral choice. We give him the boy that would be evil. If we gave him one of our companions, that would be evil. This one doesn't even make sense. Why would we offer ourselves? Or we could just kill them. No, I want to lower my influence with Gan and raise my influence with one of many, so this is the best one right here. You can take a bite out of Gan. And we lose 15 points of influence with him. You think we a little more that something lies on a tap of plate? This is a new flavor of contempt, even for you. Never mind. I think I know the answer. Ah, 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 enough! Enough! And we gain influence with one of many. 11 points. Ah, the sweet sounds of torment. Perhaps when your followers have all outlived their utility, you will allow me to consume them in whole. We crave more, but this was enough. Thank you. 
Take this as a sign of our gratitude for sustaining us, and we get the dented platter. Farewell, may the gift sustain you. And we gain 11 more points of influence with one of many. Delightfully wicked dark one. Let's check this thing out. It's a heavy shield, plus 5. Gives you immunity, 25% slashing. Gives you vulnerability to bludgeoning, 10%. And it proves your fortitude saves. Let's give this to Kaylin. Yes. Yeah, our influence is pretty bad with her. But I hope to get it low enough where she wants to leave a party, then I can attack her. It's the same with Gan. However, we can get Gan's essence without having them leave the party. It might take a while to lose enough influence with him. With her, it won't be so hard. However, we'll be able to get her essence later in the game anyway, even if we don't get her to leave. Gan, the only real way to get his essence is to have him leave the party so we can attack him. But there's another method which I discovered, so I'll probably do that instead. Alright, so what is your shield right now? The Witch Blessed. Oh, this is definitely better. It's plus 8. Yes. Alright. Let's continue onward. Thanks for dealing with you with Rocky. The way they kept looking at me, licking their chops while I was getting nervous. And here is on Kriva. This is the lich that Kaylin's grandfather battled a long time ago, but never was able to destroy him. Let's see if we can ask her about it. Something you require. I had questions for you. Of course. I want to ask you about your family. What of them? I was interested to hear about your grandfather. He dwells in the House of the Triad on the slopes of Celestia as I did. He is one of the Solars, the strongest of divas. He is a champion of order and of structure. He was the one who led the shaping of Limbo's outer reaches two centuries ago to forge stability from that chaotic plane. And he ended the reign of the tyrant Ankriva and the desiccated kings of the Shremar who were allied with Merkel long ago. Let's do lore. I heard Aunt Kriva still lives in death. In fact, there he is. You know your history well. That knowledge is rare, even amongst priests of Kelimbor. He ended the chaos of their empire, not destroyed them utterly. Had he done so, he would have brought more ruin to their lands, and Grandfather believes strongly that chaos breeds more evil. He rarely intervened on the Prime, but in that instance, Aunt Kriva was affecting the cycles of life and death on the plains, and it had to be ended. Was he part of the Menagerie as well? No, the Menagerie was perhaps more concerned with the Prime than Grandfather was. The Outer Plains were his home, where he felt he could make the most difference. The Prime was not something he concerned himself with. And even on the Prime, he would not allow his feet to touch ground. Alright, never mind, let's move on. So we've already asked about Aunt Kriva. Here he is. Let's have a word. Another lich, puzzling that you are accompanied by the living. Perhaps you are newly made and not yet strong enough to break your mortal ties. A foolish accusation from one who still has strips of flesh clinging to his face. I am Merrick of Inupris, once high artificer to the Purple Emperor of Imuscar. My only remaining tie to mortality is the dust of this place where I walked untold centuries prior to your mortal birth. Very well. I withdraw re my remark and grant you the courtesy of an audience with me. So you've come for my place in line, but there is some other dark presence here. Does it travel with you or is it hunting you? And we have successful influence check with one of many. 
The lich thing senses me, dark one. Let me show myself to it, so that it might know fear for the first time in its unlife. One of many, show yourself to this lich. And we gain some influence. Dead things, behold the terrible visage of your destroyer. And we gain some influence, and looks like a couple of Kirby's minions took off. There goes the mummy. Flee now, or I will annihilate what precious little remains of your blackened essences. You have only served to anger me. You have made a grave mistake. Hold. Are your minions so loyal that they would destroy themselves at your urging? Hear me, thralls of an inferior lich. Face me, and you will be destroyed. Serve me, and you may share the power I will unearth from the ancient Imaskar. The first to bring me on Crevus Phylactery will take a place at my right hand. Yes, bring its phylactery, and I will consume the lich's soul. No, please. I yield to you, mighty Merrick. Please forgive my arrogance. I turn over all my servants to you. Tell me what you would have of me. What then? What do you want to do with this pathetic lich? Well, we could let him go, but we wouldn't get anything out of it. If we destroy him, we would get a really good wand. Let's destroy him. But first we want to destroy... the minions. Because if we destroy on Kriva without destroying the minions, the minions will turn neutral. Actually, I think they're neutral right now. Oh, I guess we don't have to fight them then. No, we're not fighting them. Alright, then I guess we'll just... We'll just have to attack on Kriva. The waking world is done with oh, you. I think... Why are they casting spells? Mummy Lord is casting Searing Light. Oh, are they, oh, they're attacking on Kriva. That's right. My bad. I will do what I can. Okay, on Kriva. Let's try the to. Crusade. Let's try to turn. We haven't done done a lot of turning in this game. And then I guess we can try some undead to death. And then they Uh-oh. Oh, there goes the Shadow Mastiff. I don't think we'll be able to cast Devour Soul on him. I will do my Kikachi's name. I'm gonna try it, even though I want to save all these uses. It's probably not gonna work. Valid target. Who killed him? He's got to be dead. It doesn't say who killed him. It doesn't say we even got XP for it. Too many hit dice to turn. Oh, Kaylin, you couldn't turn him? What, he had more than 35 hit die? Really? Hmm. Oh, I hope that... I hope nobody else killed him. Kreev is casting haste. And then what? And then nothing. But we do get 
over 5,500 gold and the Wand of Eternal Decay. Well, that sucks. We didn't get any XP at all for it. And these Vinians won't follow us for some reason. Alright, let's put this wand... Let's put this there, and then we'll put the wand over here. Ghostly Visions. Actually, I should replace this. Rod of the Ghost? We don't really use that. Put the Flesh of Stone there. Well, I got rid of Von Krivas, so I suppose that makes you first in line. Doesn't matter, though, whether you're first or 51st, since the Coven isn't seeing anyone. Until they do, I can't let you pass the guard. I'll deal with them. Open the door and let them pass. Yes, Mistress. Right away, Mistress. I don't know what you did, but Mistress wants to see you. That could bode ill. And it auto saves. Very well, I guess we'll have to go in and talk to her. Spirit Eater, the coven is recoiled from your unnatural presence. You shall not enter here. Without any explanation, Kebab runs away. Um, I'm not actually with this party. What happened, Merrick? I thought you were super powerful. And now you're cowering out? You even defeated on Kriva, who battled Solars and all that. I'll be going now. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. It may not seem as such, but we are better off without that one aiding us. We came all this way, and you deny us entrance? Do you truly speak for the Coven, or for yourself? Filthy half-breed, speak to me in such a tone again, and there shall be bloodshed. I dare you to act on such words, Coven's servant. Let us pass. We have what... Petitioner, this is half-breed your tongue, or can you speak for yourself? Yeah, let's try to lose some more influence with Gan. There's really no reason to gain it anymore. Diplomacy, we mean no insult. Forgive us harsh words. Success, it is good you have caught his words before they hit their mark. And we lose a bunch of influence. They have found a new mark instead. Go on, trade word with her, Janik. Trade words with her, Dan Janik. See what good it does you. By coming here, you forfeit your life and those of your companions. The coven must be protected at all costs. How do you expect to stop me from devouring the souls of your pre precious coven? It does not surprise me that you would so flagrantly threaten to destroy the vast knowledge contained in the Coven's shared dream. Your conquest over the Bear King was the last vision the Coven showed me before they closed. They fear your hunger, and rightly so. Your fate will be the same as others who prove dangerous or nuisances to the Coven. What do you mean? You are to be exiled to the Skein. I will waste no more words on you. What of my mother? I want to know her fate, and why I was cast out, and you will answer me, Hag. Yes, I remember you now. How ironic that you should ask of your mother. Perhaps you'll find the answers to your questions when you meet her. More likely, she will silence your questions. What? What do you mean when I meet her? Good riddance. Uh-oh. And off we go. And unfortunately, we are not allowed to rest, so our buffs are pretty much all gone. I probably shouldn't have used them. Oh, wait a minute. Silly me, I didn't even put them on in the first place. Ah, well that was smart. We just lost the key to the I do not want my eyes to fall upon her. Oh, sure you do. You know who it is. And here we are in the skein. No dreams, no nightmares. <laughs> the good thing about the skein is that there's bodies everywhere, 
with stuff. Lots did you hear that? and lots of good stuff. Yes, I did hear that. Everybody heard it. Ah, we have some scrolls. People mind, I guess we'll have to give that to Sophia because it's divination. Mass charm. Such colorful madness. The mad woman's voice would be a good addition to the many. Oh, I'm sure you'd love that, wouldn't you? It's <laughs> over here. Ring of fortitude plus four. All right, we'll take that. After is maddening. I can't take much more of this. Oh, calm down. We just got here. Death. We've encountered a giant sarcophagus, but one we thought it would to open. Bone. Suck the marrow! Bite off the bone! Suck the marrow! Looks like we have a welcoming party. Exiled Hagspawn, a human, a crazed drow, an exiled deep gnome, and a mad Durgar. Hey, let's be friends. Look here, we got some new rivals. Hey, yeah, looks like they got nice gear. Let's get him. Hey, why do we have to attack everyone that Blighted Mistress sends here? Yeah, we don't have many left since the last time Gulkosh came to feed. We should be welcoming newcomers, not murdering them. <laughs> Who or what is Gulkosh? Gulkosh is the Mad Hag. Once a member of the Slumbering Coven, but she was exiled here for some terrible crime. Ghoul Kosh. Odd, that is not a proper name, at least for a hag. You know what it means? Depends on the context, but the closest to human speech is lawbreaker or lover. Although in the world of hags, the two meanings are very close. They do not value love as you and I might. That's her voice you can hear cackling throughout the scheme. She's killed so many. My son, my son. Hey, you won't come live long enough to have to worry about Uncle Kosh. Please come back, my son. They seem pretty tough. I don't think we should get on the bad side. One by one by one. I'm with you. Let's go back to the sleeper. Cowards, come back here. Doesn't matter. More loot for us. Let's do the deed. You're right. Attack! Alright, so we need to get rid of the crazy job first. A dream. A dream. A dream. We're gonna use one of these flesh to stone uses on him. Aw, oh, you can't do it? Oh, you can. Never mind. Can you come up and attack if you can? What, you can't make it up here? Ay, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe we can cast something then. Danger approaches. Be on your guard. Can't cast it. Cast it again, will you? Hey, he rolled a one. Nice. You are officially made of stone. Hey, Sophia, that was better than Medusa. Shall we indulge? This one needs to be kissed. All right, Kaylin, try to come up and attack Leah. Uh. Nice. But we only got 80. Hide armor plus two. Yes. You got a lesser magic pack. Oh. oh yeah, that's right. We, got, we still have to destroy this thing. Come on up here. Uh, on your guard. Foes approach. Uh, 
Well, we could sell this stuff, no but no nightmares. it's gonna weigh us down. <laughs> Let's just grab the gold. We'll leave the other stuff. Perhaps it is the scheme itself that's uh, uh, You know very well who it is. Uh, uh, All right, we'll grab the gold and leave the other stuff. Nah. Uh, Yeah, we get gold. You have need of me? On the corpse, we have two gems and a lot of gold. Now, if we go this way, it's going to lead to a dead end, but there is stuff. There's stuff to get. Now, when we enter here... We have a bunch of fire elementals. Fortunately, I used my cone of cold. Let's use shout. Who's trolling with puros? All right. So they failed their fortitude saves. I am your. Now, if we didn't need our uses of the our soul to our spirit. We can fill up our spirit over here. Your days are an end. Oh, good. Want to make it get some attacks here? This one, your days are an end with my blades. How much XP? 245. Suck the marrow. Light off the bone. Suck the marrow. This one needs to be kissed with my blades. I think there's stuns or something. The waking world nope. is done for you. The spirits right. of Rashomon shall soon gain a knock. The waking world is done for you. We don't really have to worry about our spirit in here. It's not going to go down very much. Worthless. Alright, let's grab these essences. Yes. Where have you Actually, been? You yes. My son, my son. Gone to rot in the sun, the sun. Please come back, my son, my son. Kill them all, one by one by one! Yes. Alright. We don't have to put on any buffs yet. We're doing just fine. Now we have some Telther Panthers over here. I am not. I'm not Let's awake. just fight them. Asleep. Asleep. <laughs> One forty XP. <laughs> Even without any buffs, these things are pretty freaking easy. Follow. Yes. All right, we got more essence. Oh my love, my love, your flesh stuck in my teeth, my love. I will leave now. Too Follow. Too salty, too salty, my love. When I melt, I still smell your sweet perfume, my love. Now I'm gonna try to both drain the skein. That rhymes. And get that earth elemental. I can have best of both worlds. What's over here? Alright, we're not gonna be able to get to the other side while this place is flooded. But there is stairs here that goes down to an area that we can get some really good stuff including a bag of holding and pieces of a golem no dreams no nightmares <laughs> all right let's check the map see if we're going the right way so now we have to backtrack
Yeah, that's all armor and weapons and stuff that we don't need. And over here. It's a more flooded area, but I don't think I can get down here. There's no stairs. There's more stairs to a lower level. Some bloated corpses. We'll be able to get some pretty good items off of them. <laughs> There's a fresh corpse. Oh! We got some exile hags. How are we going to deal with them? Oh, I know. Well, the Banshee. Taren Ren. Asena Ah, uh, you're all dead. And we get over a thousand gold, three potions of heal. Over 2200 gold, three more heal potions. 2600 gold, more than that. And three more heal potions. I love heal potions. Fresh corpse. When you cook on it, one of many says, A fresh corpse still full of blood. The beings here must be mad to overlook such a delicacy. Were I not sated, I would indulge. You're always hungry. What are you talking about? Bite off the bone, suck the marrow. Bite off the bone, suck the marrow. All right. Here's a locked door. Let's open it up. Garrett River Dweller. Stay back. Back. We outnumber you, and there are more. More of us hiding in the shadows. Are you with those who attacked me when I arrived here? They attacked you? I don't believe... It's true. I was there, Garrett. That hack spot went crazy. I told you he was cracking. Yeah, those brutes got what they deserved, if you ask me. I suppose I can accept that. I'm sorry you were attacked. Some folks here, some folks have been here too long. They get desperate and more than a little crazy. I'll do my best to answer your questions. Don't know much though, not much at all. What do you know about the scheme? I'm not sure what answer you're after. There's not much to do here except survive another day. Survive another day. So many ways to die in the skein. We got dangers left, right, up, and down. Too many elementals, my other exiles, son, the son, Mad Hag. How about the elementals? Please come back, my son, my There's son, the big, big yeah, earth elemental at the southwest one, end. One, 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 one. But at least he's locked up. The air elementals aren't. They just wander all around, all around, and can't be killed. We tried to kill one of them, but it just flashed away before we could finish it. Why does the skein have so many elementals? I'm not awake. To know. Asleep. To know. Asleep. The a sleeper dream. doesn't say. A dream. We had a Genasi wizard a here dream. not too long ago who had some ideas. Crazy ideas. What happened to the Genasi wizard? He just took off saying he was going to find oh, a way out. Took I off. Love, Tried to get others to help him with his crazy ideas. Teeth, but I convinced them to stay. What were the Genasi's crazy ideas? Crazy ideas! The Genasi thought he was so smart. I'm gonna pause it so we don't have to hear that. And said that this place was created by these scary people. And they left some scary devices to control the elementals. Scary people and scary devices, you say? Could you perhaps be talking about the Emma Scary? who built this city? Yeah, that's what he said. It was scary. I guess you're smart. Smart like him. Tell me about the devices. There's a few. A few of them scattered about the scheme. Except for some Genasi wizard with crazy ideas, we found them only useful for salvage. Like that knoll over there. Can't pronounce his name. 
That knoll took the lever off of a device just west of here, and he's been using it as a club ever since. Griff, my club. Now I want to ask about something else. I'll do my best to answer your questions. Don't know much, though. Not much at all. When I arrived, one of the exiles mentioned Gulkash. Shh! Don't say that name! The mad hag will, will hear you, and she'll come, and she'll kill us all! Kill us all! That is just silly. Saying Gulkash will not bring her here. You said it again! Oh, gosh! I can hear her coming closer, closer! Be silent! Be silent now, I say! Alright, if we say this... Or this or maybe even this I think all of them will attack us very well tell me about the mad hag she has been here longer than any her insane cackling never never ceases and sometimes sometimes she ventures us out of her lair to feed we have lost many to the mad hag but the sleeper's wisdom has taught us to avoid her clutches what is the sleeper's wisdom Hana, would you mind reciting the parable of Squeaking Rat? Absolutely, Gerard. It teaches the most valuable lesson. One that those new to the scheme must take to heart if they are to survive long. The sleeper said it. The mad woman catches and devours the rat who squeaks its name. So do the other rats learn not to squeak. Do you understand now? If you wish to survive here and the shadow of the mad woman do not squeak or er, speak its name that sounds like nonsense <laughs> the sleeper's word is pure truth she is a goddess in moral form by worshiping her above all other gods we will be redeemed in the hereafter I'll talk about something else who is the sleeper the sleeper guides us I have followed her since she first arrived she was sent here by mistress like the rest, but she is different. How is the sleeper different? When most are exiled here, they arrive terrified and untrusting, and without guidance, they turn crazy real fast. When the sleeper arrived, she was still vulnerable and peaceful, so we carried her here to protect her, and then she began speaking of profound things and guiding us. What does she speak of? She speaks of death and of life, of lessons learned and wisdom lost. She's cryptic and makes you search for the meaning in her words. But there is meaning, such meaning. I am ashamed to say that when I first heard the sleeper, I thought she was babbling nonsense, but I learned. I learned that if you listen to the sleeper with an open heart and mind, you will learn how to survive in this game. She will make you different, different like she is. I want to ask something else. So you're the leader here. Leader? Me? <laughs> no. The sleeper is our leader. We follow the guidance of the sleeper in all things. All things. How long have you been here? So long. There's no way to tell how much time has passed here. Except for the sleeper, I've been here the longest. Longest of anyone still living, that is. Tell me about the bad hag. She has been here longer than any. Her insane cackling never, never ceases, and sometimes that she ventures out of her lair to feed. Yeah, you said that already. We have lost many to the mad hag, but the sleeper's wisdom has taught us how to avoid her clutches. Where can I find this hag? Find her? Find her? You don't want to find the mad hag. She'll feed on you while you're still alive and fill a skank with the sounds of your torment. Alright, where is she so that I won't accidentally find her? Very well, she paces back and forth in her lair at the very center of the skein. But heed the sleeper's wisdom and stay clear of there. Alright, I want to ask something else. Farewell. Alright, alright. You're free to wander around our camp and talk to no folks. But I'll be watching you all the No offense. <laughs> you have anything else to say? Oi, what can I get ya? No. Farewell. What about you? Greetings. Shh. I'm waiting to hear the sleeper speak. It is a long day. 
I could use a drink. We'll protect the sleeper with our lives, worthless as they are. There's the sleeper. What about you, exiled knoll? Gruff. Your weapon looks like a lever I need. No, mine. Is there anything you want in exchange for the lever? I saw Duragar with axe. Sharp and shiny. You bring axe, I give club. Fine, I'll be back with that Duragar's axe. So now we know what he wants, but I don't think we'll even have to wait that long to get it. Let's talk to the sleeper. It is a long day. I could use a drink. Careful. The woman who sits there within a trance. She is more than she appears. She walks the dream. Are you alright? I felt this presence before. Back in the half drow's house of Molson's here, where I felt as if dreams had touched this plane. I believe that place was the home of this woman, Skyla Avalov. She radiates the same power. She doesn't seem all here. You're correct, and I do not think I could travel into her dream alone and survive without an anchor of some sort. Her mind, her dreams are like a whirlpool. Without someone to brace me, or I bracing someone else, I would be lost. The sleeping madwoman has such power. If you would let me devour it, I could gain its abilities. Strong abilities that Dark One could command. Okay, devour her then, as you wish. Actually, no, I will consider it. The sleeper sits here quiet and unresponsive, so we can devour her ourselves. We could tell one of many to devour her, or we could just kill her and leave her be. I want to speak with one of many first. Yes, go on. Change now. I like to meet this brute. Yes, <laughs> One of many has gained a new voice. The brute. The brute is the spirit of a ruthless and savage orc. It was punished for its terrible crimes by being cast alive in the furnace in Death God's Vault. The brute burns with powerful hatred and a lust for violence that are now yours to command. Changing one of many's voice to the brute switches its class to barbarian. You can change it back to the child voice at any time. So if we need to disarm any traps or anything like that, we can just ask it to go back to the child. Um, error. Uh oh. I hope it's not stuck. Oh, great, my keyboard is not working. There it goes. Why was it not working? That was weird. Alright, so let's examine one of many. Let's take So it looks like he has a lot more HP now. AC's 36. One of many is actually a decent crafter. For armor, trap, and weapons. We should try that out sometime. He's also a good taunter, so I guess we can put that lure. I'm trying to put this here. 
Well, I guess I'll only be able to do it right clicking if I. You know what? I don't even do it. I don't even do that. It's kind of unnecessary. Anyways, barbarian fast movement, damage reduction six, Donald will, mighty rage, tireless rage. What? I can't drag these? It's not working. Oh, all of a sudden I get more stuff now. Look at this. Can we drag it now? There we go. What does this do? It's just like a rage. Last for three plus the con modifier, so that's three plus nine. So 12 rounds. If the rage effect expires, the barbarian is fatigued and suffers negative two strength, negative two dex, and minus 10% movement penalty for five rounds. But we have tireless rage. At level 17, the barbarian gets tireless rage and no longer deals with this penalty. Great. At level, the, level, the, the rage ability becomes a greater rage, giving the barbarian plus six to strength and constitution. And plus three to will saves. The negative two penalty to AC still applies. And at 20th level, it becomes a mighty rage. The strength and constitution bonus is increased to plus eight. Nice. Will save bonus to plus four. The AC penalty remains at neg negative two. Okay, so we can use it eight times a day. And you have epic damage reduction. So we don't get to pick any of your feats. Can we put this down here now? We can. Great. Okay. You have need of me? Let's have one of many devour the sleeper. One of many devour her. And we gain 15 points of influence. And we got 500 XP for that. Oh, thank you, Dark One. The Mad Woman will integrate nicely into the many. You will see. Oh, see you, just let you go. All right, that turns all of these people hostile. So we'll have to deal with them. My magic will erase this nuisance. You have Whale the Banshee, which could possibly be effective in this situation. No! This one stands no That's a cat, please. Here's your pity. Bite off the bone, suck the marrow. What this guy saved? Oh, you roll a twenty. All right, I'll give you that. A lot of twenty rolls here. What's up with you? Strength decreased. Shall we indulge ourselves? Well, that might call for a lesser restoration. Hold up on to Oh, now you're an Umber Hulk, huh? Nice. Let's hope nobody gets confused. Your kind never win! <laughs> so we got 429 XP for that. Everyone is dead. Just the way I like it. We get an alchemical silver dagger, over 1200 gold. Over here we have plus three longsword, uh, water essence, 1400 gold. We'll throw these into the magic bag. This we're not gonna need ever. Put that into the magic bag. And over here we have my son, my son. Oh, scurry to my sliver. Nice. The the sun, the sun. nice. Please come back, my son, my son. And we have one more bag over here. One by one by one! Belt of the avowed. It lowers charisma. That's bad. 
but improves dex by six and wisdom by seven. It gives you improved critical and armed strike. Well, we don't have any monks here, so that's kind of useless. Legend lore, that's kind of useless too. And a plus two bastard sword. Or we use some type of samurai. I cannot travel quickly carrying all this. That's what the magic bag's for, buddy. And we'll give that to Sophia. Okay. So before we end today's episode, let's have another chat with one of many. This is a fiend. A cast. Doom makes it kill next. Wamas. Long souls. For no sake. Or Ishmael. So I will know. Very well. I Bring forth awake. this mad woman. Asleep. 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 A dream. A dream. Yes. A dream. One of many has gained a new voice. The mad woman. The mad woman is the spirit of a sorrowful old woman who was imprisoned and tortured beyond insanity. When her prayers for death were finally answered, she found herself bound in a new prison, writhing among the thousand screaming souls of the many. Though unwilling, she has no choice but to serve you with the great magical powers that she possesses. Changing one of many's voice to the mad woman switches its class to warlock. But if it's a woman, it's not warlock, it's witch, isn't it? You can change back to the child voice at any time. I thought we were uh, the brute. Yes, I've noticed that. Sounds good. How do I embrace the dark energy? Is it like dark matter? Are there any drawbacks to this? Alright, I'll accept this power. Okay, so now we have the, where is it? It's the negative aura. Exposure to one of many has caused you to emit a barely perceptible aura that makes others particularly unnerved in your presence. You feel noticeably empowered and regenerated and the dark insights stirred in your mind. Along with this comes an increased craving for spirits. Oh crap. The aura and the aching hunger it causes does not fade when one of many is away from you. This gift and its curse <laughs> is yours permanently. The effects plus one strength, plus one intelligence, plus one dex, plus one constitution. Party leader gains plus one strength and plus one intelligence. Party leader gains bonus feet fast healing. Party leader gains bonus feet plus 10% bonus to Spirit Gorge. Party Leader gains plus 6 Intimidate. Party Leader loses 6 Diplomacy. Well, it's, it's really not that bad. So where are we up now? Dex is 22. I wonder what it was before. Was it 21? Or it didn't even increase. Nope, these are, I guess, only on one of many, huh? Plus one in strength, which is plus one intelligence. Yep, our intelligence is now 37. It was 36 before. But what about you? I thought I switched you to the warlock. I guess not. Okay, all your stats have increased. Alright, let's talk to it. One more yes. time. Yes. 
Let's talk English. I want you to change to the mad woman. has all sorts of different feats now. Dash. Well, I guess it can move faster. And it has toughness, so... But its hit points are a lot lower. Probably because it doesn't have all the barbarian levels. Armor caster. Deceive item. What's your used magic device? Zero! So that's useless. But since you have all those warlock levels, it gives it to you anyway. Epic Feats, Eldritch Master. Eldritch Blast deals plus 50% damage and have plus 2 to attack rolls. Hey, that's pretty good. We open its spell book. We have all of these spells at our disposal. Nice. One many is very powerful. And your spell casting is... Overkill, but we're going to leave it on Overkill because... Warlocks have unlimited uses of their spells. Lucky them. All right. Yes. So we've spent a lot of time today. Make sure we keep it paused so we don't hear Gokash again. Made a lot of progress, but we're exiled in the skein. How are we going to find our way out of here? And what are we going to do when we finally find Gokash? Find out next time! This is Big Los signing off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And... Tango Bandia.